Hey everyone, James Lynch here doing another video on how I record my Skype video interviews. Uh, November 2018 updated version. I have changed my process a little bit and added in some new equipment. Uh, so I wanted to sort of highlight that in this video. If you haven't seen part one, I have a link to that in the description that you can watch. And that's sort of a, an easy go-to uh, right off the bat. But if you're like me and you want to have really high quality stuff, I definitely have evolved the process I've been using. So first let's start with equipment. The only real change that I made was that I added in a new webcam. The Logitech Brio has been amazing. I really like this because uh, sometimes I'm on the road and I have to go to places where I'm not going to have as good of lighting. So with the Brio, because the webcam is so uh, you know sharp and precise, um, you know you just get better lighting overall. So that's sort of the big thing, and it records in 4K. So let's say you wanted to shoot something in 4K, you do have that option. And uh, right now, um, you can get it for uh, about $200 on Amazon Canadian, uh, even cheaper if you're American with the conversion rate. So you can check that out on there. Um, the other thing I added as you you can see here is an arm for my microphone, the Taunt Snail adjustable recording microphone. Right now, you can get that for about 25 bucks. And if you didn't see the first video, just quickly, I, I'm using a Samsung USB microphone and I'm using a newer uh, light on the front there. So uh, that's giving me just some better lighting for the overall process. And then a few little things here. I'm now using um, AirPods for my headphones. It's just a little bit easier rather than doing that whole trick I showed you in the first video with my headphones. And I'm also using a standing desk now that I got from Costco. Um, um, I love standing desk because, uh, you know, oftentimes I'm sitting for long periods of time and uh, it's nice to be able to stand up and do some of my interviews that way, uh, you know, just to sort of break things up and, you know, my legs aren't getting restless or whatever. So that's from an equipment perspective, some of the things that I've changed. Now, moving on to the software side of how I record my Skype video interviews, that process has changed for me a little bit. First off, I've had so many issues with Avair over the last couple months, but unfortunately, Avair is the only uh, software that I've used that still gets the best quality in terms of remote video. So what I've decided to do so I get the best quality video is I record myself using the default camera setting uh, video recording program that is built into Windows 10. Um, it's just the camera icon on your desktop. You go in there, you hit record, and you just record yourself. And the thing I like about it is that the quality is just so much better. Uh, you're getting 1080p, 30 frames per second. Avair was not giving me that same high quality. Um, and then on Avair, what I do now is I just record the remote side. Before I would do the split screen side, now I just record remotely. And uh, that way I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm just recording the guest side. So if there is an issue for some reason, at least one of the videos is getting recorded, I'm not going to have an issue there. So that's sort of the reason I decided to make that change. The other difference with Avair is that I'm actually using the premium version now. Uh, before I was just using the standard version. I didn't even know there was a better version you could use of the software. And the big difference there is that you can actually see in a video window what you're actually recording which to me is huge because rather than having to close the call or rather than just hoping that it records properly, you can actually see what's being recorded, which to me makes a big difference. As always, I use Audacity for my audio. I find that that really helps in terms of getting the best sound quality. So as I start the process here, I have the camera software open, I have Audacity open, I have Skype open, and I have Avair open. And again, Avair is only recording the remote side of the conversation. And just quickly, if you're using a Mac and you wanna know what software to use, QuickTime is built into most MacBooks. And if you just use their their recording feature, it's like the same thing of what the camera software does in the PC in terms of recording yourself. So I find that that works well too for the Mac side of things. But anyways, as I showed you in the first video, it's always important to do a test video. So what I do is have a backup Skype account. I call that on my phone because I have the Skype app on my phone and I do sort of a test run here. And that is basically just going to make sure that uh, everything's working properly how I like it. And again, what you're going to end up with in the end is you're going to have one video which records your end, one video that records the guest's end, and then you're going to have the audio recorded just on your end as well and the remote will have the audio from the remote guest that is being recorded there as well. If you guys want help on how to edit things, I have a video on how to edit, but it's basically the same process of where I go and just you know format the video the way I like it, uh, making it so I have that split screen style in terms of how I do my videos and everything like that. In terms of graphics and other things like that, um, you know, just ask me. Uh, you know, there's there's a couple templates you can get off the internet that will that will work for that. So there you have it, everyone. Uh, this is the new process I'm using right now, currently for my fighter interviews. If you guys have any questions at all, shoot me a message here on YouTube. Find me on Twitter at Lynch on Sports. You can shoot me a DM. My DMs are open. I'm happy to help out. Again, this video could change in a few months as well. I'm always finding new ways to improve my videos. Uh, so definitely reach out if you have any questions and uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash lynch on sports. Appreciate everyone watching and I'll see you next time.